Fitting an entire solar system into the museum presented a real dilemma to the team. Should the planets be created by computer or by hand? In the end, both techniques were used. The models proved to be the best way of showing surface detail. Creating a single miniature planet took days of sculpting, moulding and painting. Countless craters were painstakingly added. My idea was to get through some sort of smoke clap, you know, so the smoke whites out, so you put it on. The addition of lighting and a careful camera move completed the effect. The idea that a planet, Saturn, is so low in density that it would float in water led to an inventive and complicated sequence. The red ball was just a guide to create the splash. Okay. Yep. Later to be replaced by a computer-generated image. To illustrate dramatic conditions on the freezing nighttime surface of Mercury, an apple was submerged into liquid nitrogen. A slow motion camera again captured the results. Having explosive situations in the studio is not to be recommended, but to create the solar system, a big bang was unavoidable. A ballistics expert provided strict guidance and supervision. The camera was protected by a sheet of high strength glass. Above this, the suspended explosive was detonated. The graphics department was called in to make the final intergalactic additions, painting in the first moments of the solar system, frame by frame. <laughs> 